Today, I will show you how to recolor parts of assets using the line and shape tools in Incarnate. For many stamps, the color settings work just fine with the hue slider, but for some stamps like flowered bushes or wooden furniture, it doesn't work as well. With the line and shape tool, we can easily solve this problem in more than one avenue. Today, we will practice using the Canna stamp from the Jungle Set. First, I will show you how to use the line tool. After the stamp is down and we pick the line tool, we'll choose the color option and change the style to solid and the blend mode to color. We'll then choose the color we want and use the path tool like a crayon to color only the flower. The next two options will use the shape tool. For the first of these, we'll use the brush option. Turn the stroke off and leave the fill on. Choose the color you want and use the green guides to fill in the space like a crayon using the add mode. If you fill in an area that you didn't want colored, Switch to the subtract mode and use the purple guide to clean up. The second shape tool option uses the pen mode. Again, we'll turn the stroke option off and leave fill on. Place nodes around the outside of the area following the shape you want to recolor. Then choose add. If there is an area that you did not want colored in, you can outline that area using the nodes and use the subtract option to remove the color. Once you're done, you will group your paths with your stamp and name it accordingly. This will allow you to move and resize your new stamp as a unit. These methods work well for flowers, furniture, and accessories. Once you're comfortable, you can even experiment with different blend modes and layering to create more fun effects. And that's how I recolor objects using the line and shape tools in Incarnate. Check out the description to find out where you can get this map for free. For more tips and tricks, time lapses, and announcements for new map releases, please like and subscribe.